yourself and what would you like people to know about you? Uh, I'm a fun guy. Kawhi Leonard, step back three. Uh, obviously, I love the game of basketball. Shot clock under five. Leonard working on Butler. Um, I mean, it's just more question you have to ask me um, in order for me to tell you about myself. I just can't give you a whole spiel. Yo, what's up, y'all? It's your boy Polo, and it's how to play with Kawhi Leonard. So let's get into his strengths. Number one, as we all know, is his clampers. His defensive consistency is a 98. Hands are a 98. So if he's in the passing lane, if you playing stupid with the ball, he's ripping you automatically. On ball defense, pick and roll defense, 97. Don't call for screens because he's dodging them. Pass perception, 97. If he's in the passing lane, trust me, he's snagging it. Shot contests, he gonna block your shot. He gonna contest your shot. He gonna do whatever it takes to lock you down. Number two, getting buckets. Offensive consistency is a 98, so once he gets it going, he ain't stopping. Layup, 93. Shot close, 92. Mid-range, 89. I got stars next to it because once he gets hot, that mid-range jumps to a 94. Post fadeaway, listen, he ain't quite Jordan for no reason. He got an 88 fadeaway, fouls at 88. So once you go to the paint with that 93 layup, it's either an and one or he's dunking on you. Guaranteed. Ball control, this guy can get jiggy like the best of them. All right, let's get to the weakness. These ain't really spots where he's weak. I would just say these are spots where he's underrated. So playmaking, pass accuracy, 79, basically 80. Pass vision, that's up to you. It don't matter about that. Strength, trust me, he's a grown man, even though it's a 75. And with that being said, the number one thing you want to do with Kawhi Leonard is double tap extra square and get to the basket. Getting to the basket is going to open up so many ways to expose your defender at will, as well as get your teammates going early, since they're going to be double teaming you towards the end of the game. What I like to do is double tap X or square when driving, because I know it's a sure bucket. Call screens, plays, rock them to sleep, whatever it takes, just get them on your hip and go to work. You can hold turbo, double tap X or square to spin off of them. While driving, you can double tap X or square, make contact with them and body them. You may even get a foul. If he makes adjustments and a big is waiting for you in the paint, please hit that big with a euro. And if he's too far in the paint, show no mercy. Put him on the tape, just go at him. You may get the big in foul trouble. Next thing you know, a few layups, dunks, and free throws just gets the stove hot, which leads into number two. Get to your spots and abuse the midi. I don't know why Kawhi doesn't have any hot spots, but trust me, between me and you, every spot on the mid range is his hot spot. A go-to shot I like to take is basically I'm at like I'm going to the basket, going for a layup, and then I aim the left stick at the baseline, and I press square or X, and then I do a little step back towards the baseline. Basically, he thought I was going for a layup. Nah, homie, I'm stepping back. I already know where I'm going. That's why you got to know your spots. So after I make a few of those, since the stove was hot, guess what? Let's put them in a the pot. At this point, whoever you're playing doesn't know what to do. They think a 3-2 zone gonna help. Nope, that ain't helping either. You just giving up threes. They gonna try to let the computer guard you. Well, guess what? Don't worry about that. You got two choices. You can call screens, find where he at, and expose him. Or you can get in the post and do the computer dirty. What I like to do after that is basically just wait for the rage quit. So like my Uncle Stephen A. Smith would say, this guy can give you 30 in his sleep. But don't forget, he a two-way player, so if he don't quit from the offensive side of the ball, make sure you put him in a box and ship him. Listen closely. When playing on-ball defense, the goal is not to stay in front of him. The goal is to cut him off from where he's going, which majority of the time is baseline. Once you see him fumbling the rock, that means he no longer wants the ball. Take them cookies. When it comes down to contesting jump shots, don't ever jump at a shot. Always just stay close to him, put a hand up. For Kawhi Leonard, his hands are on 98, so you really don't ever have to jump unless it's a layup. Even when contesting layups, I just put a hand up. Don't ever jump unless you're behind him going for a chase down. With that being said, thank y'all so much for tuning into my first video. Get in the comments, let me know what y'all want to see next. It's your boy Polo, I'm out.